Thank you, Marty. Obviously, I didn't get there today, but thank you so much. Hi, Avi Myers here. Welcome to the Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine, a presentation of Sonny Hirsch and myself. Dial us up on the web at www.ntnm.org. Uh, your link to watch us on YouTube, where as this is being presented, if not today, tomorrow, the next day, or maybe yesterday, 30,000 shows have been watched on the web. 30,000. Thank you so much. Community policing, we're very big on that. Caps24.org. And my next guest, my favorite guest, who chases away my other guests, or proposed <laughs> guests, <laughs> and I will be talking to him oh, about that, yeah. is, um, whose latest title, of course, is a uh, Hillary delegate coming up at the Democratic Convention, as well as the alderman of the 50th Ward, Alderman Bernie Stone. How you Man, doing? I'm doing fine, Avi. Listen, you know, you're supposedly the producer of the show, but I came a little early today. I, I saw Sonny moving the table, setting up the lights, setting up the <laughs> camera. What do you do here? I don't. Sonny does, does all the work. He does all the work, yes. exactly. All the work. You do all the talking, but Sonny does all the work. <laughs> well, you, now, now you got it. Usually I do help him with the table, but that's about it. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, you know what? I'm so disappointed. I invited all these people the last couple times to come on the show. Some of them don't even answer me. Uh, for instance, the last two times I invited Nazi Dolar, who I understand has been active. She didn't even return my call. Then I invited the West Rogers Park Community Organization, who I have referred to as creative fascists, correctly. Well, if you come to my <laughs> office tonight, you'll meet them all because they're all going to be at... At a meeting at my office. Well, tonight. we're we're going to get there, but you know what? I got a letter back from one of them saying, "Oh, May's not a good month." Well, <laughs> yeah. In other words, you know, good, community organization gets busy. a chance to be on TV. They usually jump through hoops. Well, and by the way, then um, this other new organization, which by the way is being backed, which is backed by the Albany Park oh, community something or another. Yeah, right. I know them too. And uh, they basically, if you if you take a look at them, they're very much immigration oriented. Yes. Very much low cost housing oriented, and um, are also aligned with uh, all sorts of churches. Seems to be their the main thing they're associated with. Whether it's oh, there's some Islamic stuff. It's also basically, I don't think people use the word Oriental anymore. But but you know, near China, the islands, Philippines, and all their churches and stuff along there. Um, now they were going to come on the air, and all of a sudden somebody must have warned them or something, or somebody told them. All of a sudden they bake off, and and they're afraid, and. They're going to have a meeting, and they haven't even, they, they want to have a meeting with all these so-called, you know, they've invited people that are citywide officials and all that, but they haven't bothered to approach. They, they don't get involved in any community well, you policing. Mean, you, you know, you, the problem is, Avi, you're too, you're too, you're too tough a questioner, and, <laughs> and they, they're afraid of your... Uh, Tough style in questioning. I mean, why why don't you uh, the cake the Larry King softball questioning <laughs> style and maybe they'll come on if, if you'll just use those softballs more often. Well, you know, in the case of the uh, uh, they, they call it the North Side Alliance. I mean, they, they I, I invited them. I told them, look, this is just informational. You know, I told them first time out. You know, uh, you know, you guys can just tell everybody what you're all about. I've gone to their meetings. I mean, I mean, it seems to me like they're they're a group that that's not in getting involved with any other groups, and it seems to me like they like to take over the neighborhood. Well, the, which no, is not unusual for they, a community they, group around they here. They like that they should be outnumber you. They don't want you outnumbering them. That's the problem. Let's talk. Let's talk about our community. So let's, let's talk, not talk about these organizations. Right. The uh, that's fine. No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not going to. That's fine. I'm not. Uh, so okay. What's what's going on here? What I know. What you want to talk about? There's a big zoning meeting tonight. Yeah. And people have proposed. Well, you is this it's true? A seven story, ninety eight unit uh, building? It's uh, well, it's ninety eight senior citizen units. Yes. Oh, ninety eight. Right. Okay. Uh, and. Uh, it, it is, as I understand, it's a 72, 72 feet high, uh, and I suppose it is seven sto <coughs> stories. It's on Western Avenue, and uh, I, I'm going to find out more about it because I really don't know too much about the building, and then I'm going to find out about it tonight. It, too. So this is not something you are predisposed to or something you're particularly in favor of, or is it? Well, uh, I'm generally, I, I've got to say that generally I'm in favor of senior citizen uh, uh, buildings, but I'm going to find out more about it tonight. Uh, it's something that I haven't been briefed on 
uh, and I'm going to get my briefing along with the people tonight. Now, isn't seven stories real loud? No, well, right around the corner is a five-story building. Directly ac- across the street is a is a, uh, cell, is, a- is a cell tower that's about ten stories high. So I, you know, uh, it, it's it's everything is in the eyes of the beholder. Uh, well, that's on Western Avenue. This so is a Western commercial Street. It's a Western Avenue commercial street. So we'll see. Uh, I'm waiting to see what the presentation is tonight. Are our neighbors going to have their view of McDonald's blocked or something? Is that what they're concerned with? Or? I don't know. I'll, <laughs> but I'll, I, I'll listen to everybody's view. Okay. Okay, so that'll be, that'll be good. And I know that certainly I've seen a big fuss. You know, it's funny because I noticed that in the letters from the uh, creative fascists, the West Rogers Park Community Organization, um, first they were saying, oh, we're going to have a meeting and, you know, we're going to ask these tough questions. And in the meetings at your office, I, I ex- and, and the I secondary expect- letter, the secondary I, letter was, oh, the alderman is so gracious, and now he's allowing us to be there and discuss it. And look, we're we're the ones who sent out, we're, we we we're the ones who sent out the notices for the meeting. We're the ones who called the meeting. They came to me. They asked for the meeting. I said absolutely, because uh, I want to find out more about it too. And that's the reason we're having the meeting, to find out the facts. I don't oppose something until I hear what it is. I don't, I don't like people who oppose something before they find out what it is. Uh, it's uh, very much similar to something else we're going to talk about, uh, where I'm getting all kinds of letters opposing it by people who, never, who have no idea what they're opposing. Okay, so you know what, let's talk about what it is, because we certainly, you know, there are certainly, all you have to do is raise your hand, or, or all I have to do is be associated with you in any way, shape, or form, for people to instantly, um, well, some people anyway, to instantly not like me as much as they really should. Well, the, the, the thing I'm talking about, basically, is the Senior Citizen Activity Center. I'm, I've got, I've so been, these guys are anti-senior citizen, huh? Well, uh, let, me, let me tell you this. We've had two... Very well advertised, very well publicized, public meetings. Uh, and they were very well attended, by the way, at Warren Park. The last one was in July of uh, 2007. It was very well attended. Uh, and now I'm being uh, getting hundreds of letters from people who know absolutely nothing about the Senior Activity Center. They don't even know where it's going to be located, telling me how terrible it is and how it's going to disturb the, the, uh, the green space. They, they have no idea how much, what's involved. They have no idea where it's located. They have no idea how many square feet the, the uh, Senior Center is. And they're telling me all about how it violates the agreement uh, under which uh, Warren Park was was uh, given to us <clears throat> by under the state uh, grant. Wasn't that Daniel Boone and Davy Crockett in 1723? Oh, please, <laughs> in any of in any event, they, they, I, I'm getting it's, actually it's carbon cop it's carbon copies or fax copies or uh, Xerox copies of a letter to. Joyce Gallagher and Tim Mitchell, and uh, letters that absolutely have no knowledge of what's what's going on. Incidentally, this is all occurring while at the same time that the Public Building Commission is taking bids from the contractors and getting ready to start construction. Because construction will start any day now. So that, that's that, that's that's why these people are writing. They're all opposing it, and it's going to destroy the green space. They have no idea where it's even being located. Well, by now, the way, first I, of all, let's talk yeah. where it's going to be located. Yeah, where's it going to be located? It's going to be located right next to the to, to the uh, to the um, uh, um, field, the field house. house. Okay, on Albany and be- Western and Warren Park. It's between the field house and Western Avenue. Yeah. In an area that is not used for any other thing, it's not used for activities. It's not used. It's not used for uh, any type of activities, including even uh, ha- having a sandwich. It's not used for 
uh, even uh, this baseball. is space between the field house and the ice skating rink. No, no, this okay. is towards the street. Oh, it's between the sidewalk and the field house. Where the seagull it's pond is. Uh, huh? where the seagull pond is. There's nothing there. Well, the seagull, Sonny, Sonny Hirsch is telling a seagull pond. In other words, that's kind of swampland. I mean, I've been it's, there. There's when nothing I walk there. In the, when I walk in the park, I make it a point to walk around it because it's kind nobody, of wet and nobody, damp and Nobody dreary. walks there. Nobody goes there. It's an unused area. Nobody, nobody would even think of going there. But you know, there's 782 species that are going to be extinct <laughs> if you guys build that there. <laughs> Excuse me. The purpose of putting it there is so that they can connect it to the field house, so that you can, in winter time, for instance, you can go through the field house and directly into the senior center. Are, are these the same people who had the lovely well, idea of putting me. this on the second no, floor? No, wait a minute. <laughs> now, the interesting thing yeah. about this is not one of these people, not one of these people, ever said a word during the course of the construction of the park about the construction of any of the parking lots, which are four times the size of the field house, which are concrete or asphalt, which are not green space, right. which accommodate nobody, and certainly don't serve children, don't serve greenery. And there are two parking lots. There's one in front of the field house, and there's one for the, for the golf course. And certainly uh, obliterate the green space. Now, one complaint about the parking lots. I mean, all they serve are automobiles. Now, why didn't these people complain about the parking lots? They're four times, each one is four times the size of the senior activity center. Or oh, no, a senior activity center might make a few senior citizens happy. Okay, well, now, why? Well, maybe that was a, a violation of this agreement between, between HUD and, and, and the, uh, and the, a senior citizen center? Oh, God forbid, you might help seniors. You know what? These people are phonies. I mean, what is their real objective? I don't know. What is it? Anything that, that Bernie Stone's in favor of their opposition to? Could that be maybe their reason? Well, with some people, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand this. What, 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 what has a, a parking lot... What, what does that serve? It serves somebody who, who can't get their tuchas out of bed and, and, and walk. It, it, that's what it serves? It certainly doesn't serve the senior citizens, many of whom walk to the park. Yeah, I walk to the park to all yeah, the meetings. Well, but what, what's so terrible about a small senior citizen center that's going to help our seniors... Uh, Exercise, uh, learn how to use a computer. I mean, what's gonna? What is that gonna hurt? And it, and it certainly doesn't in any way uh, hurt uh, anything else. It's it's less than the size of the batting cage. I mean, what's the big deal? Oh yeah, why wasn't there? Yeah, that's uh... nobody complained about the batting cage. Nobody complained about the ice rink. They're both the same size as the senior center. I mean, what, what's the what's the big deal? I, you know, I don't understand this. I mean, where where, where were these same complaints? Uh, well, you know what you've got. To, well, you know yourself, you've got a bunch of people that are. Um, you've got all these interesting groups, basically. You're, you know, trying to take over the neighborhood. <laughs> well, who do want to come on these, my show? These all are, of you guys are invited. These are people <laughs> who are looking for a problem, who are looking for trouble, who are looking uh, to complain about, uh, about something. But God forbid, you, why are you picking on senior citizens? Are we, are we doing something that are, is harmful to you? Are we hurting you? Is it that we're doing, uh, we, we've lived too long? Do you, do you want to establish gas chambers and get rid of us? Have we lived too long? 
Now, um, I, I think we've definitely illustrated the point. We have less time than usual, so there are a couple of subjects I sure, want to hit. Sure, go ahead. Um, uh, public <coughs> school, is that going to be happening shortly? I mean, the groundbreaking. Absol absolutely. Oh. Uh, the, um, the target date for the school uh, opening is 2010. Okay. Uh so that's two years, two years from this September. It will open in September of 2010. And are they close to breaking ground soon, or? I would presume so. Okay, now also I, I'd like to find out about, um, you mentioned last time about Can TV and the funding and the mayor. We um, we, I'm meeting with Barbara Popovich, I believe, this coming week. As a matter of fact, the next, the next shoot we have, which is two weeks from today, not, not in TV time, in our real time, Real world time. You and Barbara are going to be here like next to each other at, at the next shoot. By the way, well, so she's going to be here to talk about that. And I'm going to see her later tonight. Um, wh now, what else? What what other are there new pro other new projects uh, coming about? Are there new proposals? Are there new things being bought? I mean, is the housing market uh, making things stop in terms of new buildings? We're, or? we're having a problem with the uh, building at Peterson uh, Peterson and, and Jersey. Uh, the, the, the where the bank, Peterson Bank building used to be. Yes, that's under. It's a, it's in foreclosure. He wants. He's ready to lose his total investment, Ooh. which is a million and a half dollars, because uh, he's in foreclosure. But he wants to save any pos possibility of his getting a deficiency judgment. But he wants to switch to a, to a use that I'm not happy with. He wants to switch. To, to a storage uh, use, and he wants to go in uh, at the building that will look like a office building, but it will be for storage purposes. I'm not happy with it. Uh, I have suggested, rather than going to that use, that he go to a uh, nursing home s slash... Uh, um, Retirement home type thing? Yeah, something like that. Which uh, the uh, the prop it's already been rezoned. <coughs> It'll meet. It can it can meet those requirements. Uh, it doesn't have to be changed on zoning. If he wants to go to storage, it has to be rezoned again. I do not want to rezone it again. Okay. And uh, I suggest that he examine that possibility. He's got a short window of uh, financially. Financially, so. He's got, to, he's got to examine his potential on that. Well, I wish the guy luck. Uh, I want to thank Joe Chuck Jay for bringing you here. Uh, usually I talk to you longer. We, we've, got, we've got more guests this time than uh, ever in today's shoot. We're doing three shows today total in coming weeks. We've got a friend of yours coming up, uh, Miguel Devalier, the city clerk. Oh, well, we, good friend. Yeah, and as a matter of fact, I've got the new state's attorney's candidate, Anita Alvarez. Uh, also, we should talk about the... Uh, you, you're, you're always there for the charity softball game that's coming up. Between I usually the, uh, am, and I hope to be there this time. I wasn't there last year, but I hope to be able to throw out the first ball this year. Well, that'll be good, and just give the public address announcer a chance to, to know when that's happening so he can announce you. <laughs> and, and by the way, I am the public address announcer, and I enjoy it tremendously. What and day, that is, what's the date today? That's this Monday, year. June 9th, and that's being run by the, uh, by the chamber, Amy West, Zander, West, and it's West the police Ridge chamber. Right, and it's the police department versus the, the fire, fire department, department, which is pretty cool. And uh, it, it's a great time by everybody. And uh, lot, lots of local businesses get involved for good causes and stuff. And it just, it's just a pretty cool event. And I think the fire department's won the last two years. Yeah, well, they're <laughs> tough guys to be. Definitely. Well, you know, when it comes to the bullpen, they've certainly got the uh, firemen and the uh, relief pitchers to do it. <laughs> So in any event, i got to leave room for, actually, it's uh, Lieutenant Don Holman who's coming up next to tell you what you got to look out about this summer to help make our neighborhood safer. I want to thank Alderman Bernie Stone very much. Thanks and to my entire technical crew, Sonny Hurst. Thank you for having me, Avi. My pleasure, and good luck at the meeting. We'll find thank out you. next time what, uh, what happened. Segment.